right in this video I'm going to show you how you to model this a Star Trek the next generation communicator badge using blender all right let's go ahead and get started keep in mind I do have one reference image that you need to download uh, that we're going to use to help create this badge the link to that will be in the description of this video go to file new and reload up startup file. Go ahead and delete the cube if your startup file has the cube because we do not need it. Alright, go to add mesh and then choose circle. Change the fill type to ingon. Now let's press 1 on the keyboard and then let's zoom in and then just tilt it down just a little bit. Now we want to change the Y dimensions to 1.5. Now what we want to do at this point is go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, and then solidify it. So we can add some thickness. Change the thickness to 0.1. And then click apply. Now press tab to go into edit mode. Click on the face select icon and then right click on the top face. Now we want to create a little bit of an edge right here and then it goes down and then it slopes up. Kinda like we see in this image right here. So you got the edge, it goes down and then it slopes up where it's higher in the middle. So what we want to do with just the top face selected, press I on the keyboard to inset the face and then just drag it with the mouse to about there. Now press E on the keyboard to extrude and we're going to extrude it downward. And just make sure you don't go all the way past that point where it goes through the bottom part. So just above the bottom part. Now we want to be able to make this slope up so that it's higher in the middle than it is on the edge but make it smooth so it it slopes up smoothly so what we want to do we want to make a series of rings going inward that way it will be nice and smooth when we go to edit this later so what we want to do we want to press I to inset the face move it in some, press I, move it in some, I, move it in some, and then just continue doing that till you get close to the center. Doesn't have to be all the way close, that's close enough. Now what we want to do, we make sure we only have this center face selected. Now go, click on the proportional editing icon and change it to connected make sure it's set to smooth now we want to grab a hold of the z-axis by left clicking on it and as soon as we start to move that circle will pop up and we can adjust the size of that circle by turning the scroll wheel and we want to adjust it so it's just the size of the inside of that oval shape about right there and then we just raise the center up to about there and if we look at it we can see how it just smoothly arches up and then arches back down that's what we want now press tab to exit edit mode go to set origin origin to uh, geometry now let's go ahead and give this a material click on the materials tab click new change it from diffuse to principled make this kind of a brownish color and then change it to metallic and make the roughness 0.1 and that should make a fairly good approximation of the color gold of metal being the color gold Alright, now what we want to do, we want to press 7 on the keyboard, 
and then press 5 to go into orthographic view. Zoom out just a little bit and this is where the reference image that you need to download will come in handy. We need to cre open up that reference image and use it as a background image. So click on background image, add image, and you can have this set to all views or top view, either one. And then make sure it's set to image and choose open. And then just open up the image that is linked to in the description of this video. And the image is called badge.jpg. Now what we want to do, we want to create this silver portion. And how we're going to do that, we're going to go ahead and click add, mesh, and then plane. And then we're going to press G on the keyboard to grab that plane and then just drag it so that the corner is right at the corner of that silver reference image. Now press tab on the keyboard to go into edit mode. Choose the click on the vertice select icon and then press A once or twice until nothing is selected and then right click on this vertice and then shift right click on that vertice and then shift right click on this vertice and then press delete and then choose vertices. Now we only have this vertice right here left and now we want to extrude this vertice around this image. And how we do that with that single vertice selected we press E and then just move the mouse. The mouse automatically has control of it. And then left click whenever we want to uh, create a new vertice. Press E and then move the mouse. Left click to release. E, move the mouse. Left click to release. E, move the mouse. Left click to release. E, move the mouse left click to release and then just continue that all the way around until the entire silver portion of this image of this image of this badge is traced and the more time you spend doing this the more accurate it will be and the better it will ultimately look I'm just trying to go quickly for this tutorial though And especially whenever you get into areas where you have tight curves, you need to use more vertices or more points, however you want to look at it. And then just get kind of close to where you start it. Now what you want to do, you want to zoom in to that area so you can see that there is a gap between these you want to connect this to that and how you go about that with one of them selected shift right click on the other one and then press F on the keyboard to fill in the gap alright now let's press 7 on the keyboard and then over here let's turn off that background image to get it out of our way Now let's press A once or twice on the keyboard till all of it is selected. And then press F to fill. Now press Tab to exit edit mode. And then set origin to geometry. Now what we want to do, we want to scale this and put it in place on this oval at about the right location. So let's scale it down. Let's try that. And then just kind of move it in place. It needs to be just a little bit smaller. Now 
That looks about right. Now we need to solidify this object so it has some thickness. Go over here to the modifiers tab, add modifier, and choose solidify. And then let's just drag this until it's about as thick as we need it, which is about right there. And then click apply. And just, I, did, I solidified that to 0.23, which looked about right. All right, now what we want to do, let's go ahead and press 1 on the keyboard to go to front side view. And then let's raise this so that the top of the triangle shaped portion is just above the rest of it. And then the rest of it goes just below the top of the uh, oval shape portion. Now let's yeah that's about right and maybe just a little bit higher yeah right there it's pretty close. Alright now let's press tab to go into edit mode choose click on the face select icon and then right click on the top face now we want to inset this face just a little bit so press I and then move in just a little bit and then right, left click on the Z axis Well, before we do that, we need to turn off proportional editing because otherwise it's going to mess you up. So make sure proportional editing is turned off. Now, just raise that up, the center face up a little bit so it creates kind of this little bevel around the edge. All right. Once that's done, press tab to leave edit mode and then let's give that a material click on the materials tab click new change it from diffuse to principled and then make this kind of a light gray color maybe just, yeah about about right there sounds about right uh, for reference that's 0 0.7 or 0 0.472 0 0.472 0 0.472 on all of them and then change it to metallic and then the roughness to point one all right now set origin to geometry right click on the oval set origin to geometry and you do not absolutely have to do that, but that's a habit I've gotten into because it helps me um, when doing other stuff a little bit more complex than this. So right click on the oval, right and then shift right click on the silver portion, and then click Control J on the keyboard to make to join those two objects into one. So now we just have one object called plane and we can go ahead and change the name of it right now to Star Trek TNG Badge. All right, now if we look at it rendered, we could see that it's in fact the badge. Let's add a little bit of light so it so we can see what's going on. Press 7 to go on the top side view. And let's zoom out a little bit. Right click on the lamp and then just move it to about the center. Press 1, go to front side view. And then we'll just bring it in just a little bit closer and choose use nodes change that to a thousand 
and now we can look at it through the camera choose camera uh, go ahead and right click on the badge click on lock camera to view then we can zoom in just a little bit press home on the keyboard to maximize that space and now let's go ahead and put it on rendered and now if we go to look at it there you go that's pretty much the badge now we can actually see the individual vertices because we don't have smooth shader turned on turn on smooth shader and it looks a lot better but anyway if you have any questions don't hesitate to drop a comment on this video and I will try to answer your question because I know I often do not explain stuff very well but anyway thanks for watching I hope this came in handle ha came in handy later people